something hours between airplanes and airports. We're finally here in Zurich. Got my bags, we're loaded in the shuttle. We're heading to the hotel right now to meet Tommy Zula because that's who I'm planning on staying with. But finally here, keep you guys updated. Just got into the hotel room. Luckily, Tommy left me a spare key at the front desk, but I'm all settled in now. Now I just have to put my bike together, get a little bit of rest. The coolest thing about these Red Bull pump track events, unlimited Red Bull all the time. And I need it today because jet lag is real. So I got kind of bored at the hotel. I took a shower and I decided I'd come out here and go sightseeing. This place is pretty crazy. I don't know how many of you have ever been to Switzerland, but it has this smell. It almost smells like laundry detergent all the time everywhere you go. It's pretty awesome. So I've been riding around for like 35, 40 minutes. Check out what I found. I'm up on top of some mountain. This place is sick. Our hotel is like way over there. I don't even know how to get back. The bike is soaked. I'm soaked. I'd say it was a good first day in Zurich. Woo! What's up guys, a little update. So my memory cards were completely full on my GoPro, so I was deleting some stuff on my computer and I accidentally formatted the entire memory cards and I lost all the footage for day one's practice and taking our bus ride to the track. My bad. We actually have another practice session today. I think practice is 10 to 6 p.m. So we have a huge window. I'm gonna get a bunch of video. Sorry I lost all the footage from day one. for day two practice you can tell all of the riders are starting to get comfortable on the track picking their lines tomorrow is the lcq saturday is the big race the world finals the track is super long super technical about halfway around the track my legs are already burning so i know a lot of people are feeling the same way so it's going to be a huge challenge for all these riders it's going to be a survival of the fittest with the least mistakes <laughs> Yeah, so what do you think? Like and subscribe right here. You'll put the link right here. <laughs> oh yeah, it's good. We're having fun out here. Shredding with the boys and girls. Long ass track. Yeah, practice for six hours today, so we're pretty much cooked. So as you can see, right behind me right here, they're patching in a little like uh, irrigation hole. It was real rough coming out of this little snake switchback turn, filling it in with asphalt. So it'll be a little easier and a little less dangerous. Someone hit it earlier and knocked out their teeth so they're gonna fix it all right so as you guys can see behind me they set up the timing strip so basically we're gonna start on that far side roll in come down this straightaway go through this turn and then once we get to that timing strip, our time starts. And then we have to do a full lap all the way around, come around this last turn. And then once we pass that strip again, our time's gonna be up. So it's probably gonna be a 30 to 35 second lap and it's gonna be a burner. So we'll see how it goes. It's gonna be pretty tricky.
LCQ day. It rained all night. It's been raining all morning. They have free practice going on right now. Supposedly tomorrow on race day, it's gonna be raining a lot worse than it is today. So it's gonna make things even more interesting. No, no, right? It got rowdy after I. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play me tomorrow. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. She cold. Oh! Yep, she's cold enough. Mm hmm. She good. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> He's under me, though. He's. Fuck! You know, I might have to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Got to run the perfect left. You've got to stay. Oh, 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 o
keeping it together. Remember, he's going to be doing one less lap than Eddie Clerte. He's going to be pulling from that energy. He's got to stay smooth. You don't want to make any mistakes. A little bit of rain on the course right now, but he's still putting down a hot lap here. He'll send it into that pinky ball as he turns out onto that big glass straight away. And then he can of out of the right corner. Almost horizontal. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019 Red Bull UCR Contract World Championship, Eddie Kerte versus Neil. That's that Titanic battle. Kerte is looking fast on the outside. He's staying super smooth. He's got to be the 29.42. Kerte coming into the inside ball now. It's the right-hander. Whoa, that was fast. Amazing speed here from Kerte. This time is going to be good. Kerte holding it together for the fans here. of France. In the middle of the track, he gets congratulated. It's the mountain bike that wins. Hitty will go to Tommy Zula and Peyton Rinaldo. The top in 2019. I'm absolutely speechless. I came here to prove a point this year and I did it. Let's talk a bit about the finals. A youngster, a junior from Switzerland in front of his fans. You were up against it, bro. Das ja nochmal im Welt auf Sieg sitzen hat. Woo! There it is, ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise! Hey, what's up guys? It's Tuesday afternoon. I got home last night about 1 a.m. Feeling pretty sick today, so I've been in bed basically all day. Did a little bit of laundry, but that's about all I could do. <coughs> I've been kind of going over a bunch of video and I know I missed a ton of stuff. I started feeling sick on Thursday. So with being sick and everything else going on, I honestly didn't really feel up to recording everything. Basically a recap on the whole weekend. I got to meet a ton of people from all over the world and spend the entire week with them. We had so much. <coughs> We had so much fun doing stuff outside of the track that I didn't really record. I really didn't go into the race with too much expectations, but to have fun and film a bunch of stuff. And if I did good, that's awesome. And in the end, I finished 22nd, which is fine with me. The whole trip was an amazing experience. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that helped me get there and all of the people that were there who made it such an awesome trip. And I think that's a wrap on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once I get better, I'm gonna start recording and I'm gonna ride a little more because I really wanna keep doing this whole pump track thing. It's so amazing and it's awesome to experience it. And this was the first UCI world event. So I was there for history and USA brought home two world titles, which is amazing. So. Next year, I definitely want to be a part of it again, and I would really like to do better. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching.